So I'm Sergeant Caro. I'm one of the gunners on the plane for the uh, AC-130J. There's four gunners that fly on every mission. Two of us have to operate the 105. One will be up on the 30 mil, and then one does what you would think of like a traditional loadmaster or flight engineer, just backing up the pilots and calculating weight and balance. We're all qualified on the same stuff, so we just rotate every flight. For the 105, uh, you'll have one gunner on this side that actually loads and manipulates the gun. The gunner on that side, he just he's kind of like our safety observer. But for the 105 specifically, we carry 80 rounds. We strive for uh, a max of uh, one round every six seconds coming out. The recoil on this is a max of 49 inches. This safety cage will come down to protect us. This is just a dummy round to give students uh, an example of like how, how heavy the rounds are or for static displays like this. So this plane was the first plane to shoot in combat. Um, yeah, so it's out here on an air show. generous support to the morale, welfare, and recreation elements of this Now folks, this is the month of the military child. You can help us celebrate military kids. April. 
right, folks, listen up. You're about to go through a metal detector. So just go ahead and remove all metal objects out of your pockets. If you have a bag, set them on the side. They're going to be hand searched. All right, now we're just making sure that the people that have wristbands that have been pre-vetted are pretty much good to go. Make sure that they don't have any weapons, knives, guns, tasers, anything of that nature to um, basically pose a threat to the base. Um, we're pre-vetting everybody to make sure that the base is safe. Since it's open to the general public, you know, it's something that, you know, us as a community and with the military want to have everybody enjoy, right? And the only way to do that is to have a sense of security. It's important to make sure that everyone's vetted and everyone's checked.